Leo, I have messages for you today. Come into the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we continue to grow. So, Leo, we're going to get into your current love energetics. We're also going to be looking at what's headed towards you and possibly what you need to know in regards to the matters of the heart. Let's get it. I'm using a mythic goddess tarot. Let's see what your love messages are. Highest messages of love and light. Please and thank you, spirit team. Huh. Got a jumper. Four of swords. Recuperation. Rest and recovery. Relaxing. A vibe, right? Sleep. Possibly meditation as well. Could be reflecting. So that's your first jumper. All right, one more shuffle. We'll get into your romance messages. Leo. All right, so the bottom of the deck we have, in, <laughs> yeah, I would think so. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, either a spiritual journey or it could be simple traveling. But um, yeah, it looks like someone has been busy. There's physical exertion and exhaustion here. But persistence, it also comes off as aggression for me as well. And the Four of Wands. So resting after some sort of a hardship, a physical journey in regards to love and romance, the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Brainstorming and overanalyzing. This could be gossip, like social media, um, communication and all that type of stuff. Hmm. It's a completion, though. When you go through a lot of this stuff, you tend to grow. It says growth on the card. Mm -hmm. But no, there could be a lot of communication going on around you at this time or, again, the completion of some sort of a tough cycle. Like, again, this journey, whatever this journey may be, it's a time for resting, right, and learning from that journey. So the person that's coming towards you could have been on some sort of a spiritual journey or they, <laughs> they had to learn some sort of a harsh lesson. <laughs> yeah, five of pentacles to change up in their comfort. Yeah, my rolling stone card or um, this is the locked out on the cold card, right? Could have been a financial loss as well for some of you guys. The Ace of Cups. Positivity coming towards you, though. This person wants to show you something. Wants to bring in a cup of love. The Ace of Cups. So there's an Ace uh, moment coming towards you. With it being Cups, someone wants to show you tenderness. Wanting to uh, grant you their heart, basically. The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. This person sees you as um, <laughs> Wish Fulfillment. They could even be in a state of contentedness by, uh, right now. We add that Nine with the Ace, which is a one that's 10. So this person sees, yeah, they want to share Wish Fulfillment with you, like happy moments and that type of stuff. Yeah. Let's clarify this energy here. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Nine of Wands. Yeah, they've been... They, <laughs> It feels like they have been in pursuit of you for a while. <laughs> okay, this person may feel like... <laughs> it feels like they ha they are exhausted from trying to uh, woo you or something, or something like that. I mean, that's, that's how it's going to come off for some of you guys. That's funny. Three of Cups, yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting to that finish line, it does remind me of Wiley, Coyote, and the Roadrunner. Mm -hmm. This person's like, finally, <laughs> I want to connect with this person. Three of Cups, I'm wanting to share, gather, and celebrate with you. Possibly drinks or dinner or whatever the case may be. An emotional entanglement. Yep. It, yeah, exactly. It's been a while for this person. A slow moving offer the night. The slowest moving night in the day. Mm -hmm. Manifestation. They're manifesting togetherness with you. This three of cups. This ace of cups. This nine of cups. It's also my engagement ring card. So this person may be wanting to come towards you for some sort of a slow moving engagement. Possibly a financial offer as well. Oh, they see themselves equally yoked with you. They're ready to communicate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Knight of Swords. What is it? Action oriented. Now this person wants to speak with you, so they could be sending you a message, an email, probably a DM or something like that. They may want to Skype with you. Yeah, they have something they want to reveal to you. They see you as uh, their son. Joy, it says here. Mm, reminds me of someone. <laughs> yeah, but uh, childlike happiness, joy. Again, I'm getting completion. Someone could be very creative. Um, but yeah, it's like it looks like they're seeing you as the apple of their eye. They're ready to communicate. They're ready to come towards you. Five of Cups. 
Yeah. Could have been some sort of a, they may have been dealing with some sort of a loss or regret or something like that, or they feel like they will be missing out on an opportunity. Yep. It feels like they will be missing out on an opportunity if they don't come towards you. Highlights here, the Ace of Cups and the Sun card. Mm -hmm. I do see Three of Cups and Nine of Cups as well. And again, Four of Swords. They may, may want to rest with you. It does come off as sex sometimes, and they see themselves equally yoked with you. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Yep. So that is what I have for you here today, Sun Sign Leo. Mm -hmm. This person wants to come towards you. They want to experience wish fulfillment, happiness with you here, the Nine of Cups and the Sun card, and they can't wait to communicate with you. They possibly have been holding back for a while, though it's been a long time coming yet. That's what I'm getting. It's been a long time coming, this person communicating with you on a romantic uh, streak. 555 five, five, showing up on the timer. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.